Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed, and today we'll do lesson 12.7 metric units of mass and liquid volume. And our essential question is how can you compare metric units of mass and liquid volume? We said if we are on Earth, our mass is the same as our weight. But for example, on Moon, the weight will be lighter than the weight on Earth. And liquid volume is the amount that a container can take. So let's unlock the problem. The mass is the amount of matter in an object. Metric units of mass include kilogram, which is kg, and grams, which is g. So for mass, we have kilograms and grams. And liters and milliliters are metric units of liquid volume. So for liquid volume, we have liter and milliliter. And the charts show the relationship between these units. Here, the metric units of mass, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And the metric units of liquid volume, we have one liter equal 1,000 milliliters. So these are really important. We will solve all of the questions for today using them. So two important things, one kilogram is 1,000 grams and one liter equal 1,000 milliliters. So for example, two kilograms, they will be 2,000 grams. Three kilograms, they will be 3,000 grams. So it's like you multiply the number of kilograms by 1,000 to get the number of grams. And here the same, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So two liters, they will be 2,000 milliliters. Three liters, they will be 3,000 milliliters. So it's the same, you multiply the number of liters by 1,000, you get the number of milliliters. And here, example one, compare kilograms and grams. Becky planted a flower garden full of blue bonnets. She used nine kilograms of soil how many grams of soil is that so we have nine kilograms we need them in grams so let's see these questions are kilograms heavier or lighter than grams we said that one kilogram equal 1000 grams so the kilograms are heavier than the grams and here Will the number of grams be greater than or less than the number of kilograms? Look here, we have one kilogram equal 1,000 grams. So the number of grams are greater than the number of kilograms. So the number of grams, they will be greater than the number of kilograms. So what operation will you use to solve the problem? So the problem here is that we have kilograms and we want them in grams. So we multiply the kilograms by 1000 to get the grams. So here we will use multiplication. Okay, so here we have the number of kilograms nine and we multiply it by 1,000 because in each kilogram we have 1,000 grams. So 9 multiply 1,000, it's easy. You just write the 9 and write three zeros in front of it. So it's 9,000. So Biki used 9,000 grams of soil to plant here below bonnets. Okay, so from kilograms to grams, you just multiply by 1,000. And multiplying by 1,000 is really easy. You just write the number and write three zeros in front of it. Here, example two, compare liters and milliliters. Biki used five liters of water to water her plobonut garden. How many milliliters of water is that? Okay, so we have five liters and we want them in milliliters. So it's the same, you multiply also here by 1,000. So five liters, multiply them by 1,000, you will get five, and multiply by 1,000, you just put three zeros. So it's 5,000. So Biki used 5,000 milliliters of water. So from kilogram to grams, multiply by 1,000, from liter to milliliter, multiply by 1,000. Okay, let's move on to the next page. 
and we have sure and show. Number one, there are three liters of water in a pitcher. How many milliliters of water are in the pitcher? So we have three liters and we want them in milliliters. So there are how many milliliters in one liter? We have 1000 milliliters in one liter. So since I'm changing from larger unit, which is the liters, to a smaller unit, which is the milliliters, so I can multiply 3 by 1000 to find the number of milliliters in 3 liters. So there are 3 multiply 1000, we just write the 3 and multiply by 1000. We put three zeros in front of it. So it's 3,000 milliliters of water in the picture. Okay, so complete. Number two, four liters to milliliters. Again, from liter to milliliter, multiply by 1,000. So four multiply by 1,000 equals 4,000. So it's 4,000 milliliters. Number three, six kilograms to grams. Again, from kilograms to grams, from larger unit to smaller unit, we multiply. So it's six multiply by 1,000 equals, you just write the six and three zeros in front of it. So it's 6,000. So it's really easy lesson. You just need to turn the liters into milliliters by multiplying by 1,000 and the kilograms into grams by multiplying by 1000 and for example if we moved from smaller unit to larger unit for example if we have 7000 milliliters to liters so here we are moving from a smaller unit which is the milliliter to a larger unit, which is the liter. So here we're gonna divide, not multiply. So dividing by 1000, and instead of adding zeros, we will cancel zeros. So we'll cancel three zeros, it becomes seven liters. So 7,000 milliliters are the same as seven liters. Okay, that's it for today, guys. And now it's your turn. You solve on your own questions. And if you are in my class, we'll discuss it on the live session. Have a nice day and goodbye.